How the hell is it that when you meet a nice man, he is sweet, kind and caring? Only after two, three months of dating will they show their real face. Suddenly they'll drop the N-word, slur, rant on people, declare their ultra-extreme values they hid before. You often find yourself wondering, how the hell did I not realize what he was like earlier? As it turns out, it's not your fault. A new study finds that psychopathic men are actually pretty great at faking traits like empathy, honesty and agreeableness in order to appear more attractive to women, according to findings published in Evolutionary Psychological Science. Psychopaths can hide it well, for a while anyway. The study findings indicate that psychopathic men are way more willing to pretend to be less psychopathic in order to attract women and trick women and trick women into thinking they're great, well-adjusted guys who would potentially make great partners. In reality, they tend to lack empathy, don't care about other people's feelings, and can be pretty aggressive and impulsive. Of course, if you knew that from the get-go, you'd likely avoid them, hence the added layer of deception. Psychopaths have a really unique skill set. They can blend into their social environment in order to avoid being detected as antisocial predators because of this. They're often able to lead successful lives and are especially successful in dating. It tends to be easy for them to find romantic partners and they're likely in high demand with women, which is pretty scary and awful for the women that end up with them. Part of the way psychopathic men deceive women, the study found, is by using mimicry. They're able to pick up on women's expressions, intonations and reactions to things and mirror them back so that they appear more charming and well-adjusted. This is incredibly common and some of them can hold the act for years only to drop it after you move in together or get married once they feel they can truly be themselves and you can't or won't leave. This is why it's so important to take time to get to know someone. Very few people can keep the mask up for more than three months. Some can manage a year, some longer, it's important not to jump into exclusivity with a man you do not know well. Two, three months is no time at all, and during this period women should be keeping their options open. I'm not saying you have to date around, but don't offer exclusivity. You ideally want to see how he is around his friends and family, how he deals with stressful situations, how he is over the holidays at Tetetri. It's a red flag when a man pushed exclusivity early, it's a sign that he knows you'd not date him if you knew who he was so he will try to get you invested so he can drop the mask and keep you. 